I'm delighted to be back to see them again. It's, it's been two years since I've been here. And um, I was so impressed two years ago by the quality and the um, sophistication of the companies who were startups at that time. I came to a conference in um, uh, Novogorica. And, um, and I, I stayed in touch with some of the people that I met at that time two years ago and have seen them from time to time since then um, in the United States and once or twice elsewhere in Europe I've run into some of the people that I met here. So when I was offered the opportunity to come back to um, Ljubljana, this time I jumped at the chance because I, I had heard so much about what was going on with uh, uh, ABC and uh, that acceleration um, endeavor. Uh, I wanted to see it for myself, and uh, I, I've not been. Uh, what I found is that there, there is uh, uh, there are quite a number of really compelling startups. Um, in a wide variety of, of uh, industries and, and focuses that, that, uh, that I think are, uh, are just great. I'm delighted to see what's happening here in this whole ecosystem building in, um, in um, uh, BTC. Yes, I would say that, uh, that it's actually a perfect model for Anybody that wants to start a, a, a new accelerator um, location, um, and it reminds me very much the same size. It's about the same size as as uh, the UC Berkeley's accelerator in um, in, in Berkeley, uh, about 10,000 square feet, which is about nine. Let's see, 900 square meters, something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't know the conversions exactly, but it's about the same size, and um, and it has all of the, the the great facilities that that it needs. Um, so when I'm around the other parts of the world, talking to people about what kinds of uh, uh, startup accelerators they should be thinking about creating, um, I think I think this is a great model for them to see. I think it, it's a uh, it stands up against anything I've seen uh, in, in, in the Bay Area, for sure. One of the reasons that I was interested in, in coming back here was because I had, had gauged the companies that I saw two years ago to be um, exceptional, and I uh, believed that there would be uh, even more of them now, and I think I'm right about that. One of the things that I'm trying to do is is push or uh, encourage the idea that companies from outside the United States spend some time in Silicon Valley just soaking up the attitude, mindset, and, and um, uh, the environment of, of the Bay Area where almost everybody you see on the street is involved in a startup. Um, also, I think it's valuable for them to see how the, the sort of uh, local startups in Silicon Valley, how they act and present and how they uh, perform when they um, are, are involved in, 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 in building their companies. And also, it's important for, for uh, companies from outside the, the country, the United States, to get introduced and some, get some exposure to the investment community in, in Silicon Valley and um, to advisors and potential partners and customers. So what, I, what, I've, what I've done is uh, come to Europe from time to time in search of companies that I think have global potential and could benefit greatly by spending some time at a private accelerator that I now run with, with a partner and an investor from Europe um, in Silicon Valley. things that I, I haven't had enough time to do yet, I only arrived last night, so <laughs> I don't have enough time yet to have been exploring around the city to uh, get a feel for um, what it's like uh, this time. Um, certainly there are plenty of companies around in the hub here and then at, at ABC Accelerator um, that, that makes me feel like there's a lot of activity uh, and a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, it continues to grow toward uh, building startups. 
um, and all the issues that they face and raising funds and establishing the valuation and figuring out what their product market fit should be or is. Um, those kinds of things are, are the topics that you hear discussed on the street um, or in every cafe in San Francisco. So um, I, I, I have the feeling that that has, is, is going to take place here as well, although the, as I said in the piece you saw, it was the first time in Tallinn that I had heard a uh, discussion about startups in uh, just a random restaurant. It's always a challenge to raise uh, funding and um, there's not an easy answer to it. Um, there are certain companies that have products that are appropriate for crowdfunding, uh, but others just aren't. Um, for instance, business to business products, whether they be hardware and software combinations or strictly software solutions, those are unlikely to get very much traction in a, in a uh, crowdfunding situation. Um, there are angel investors that uh, oftentimes will, will uh, be more appropriate to, to talk to um, because they get more personally involved and, and, and sometimes will fund uh, a project that, that just has personal appeal to them, um, and provided that it has some of the other components that are needed for a, a, a good investment. Uh, so that's often a, um, a, a good path. Um, and then I would say that there's, there's no, there's, there's sort of a myth that's grown up um, in the, over the past few decades that uh, Silicon Valley was based on um, private capital uh, for funding. And the fact of the matter is Silicon Valley was based on government capital. Government in, infused uh, investments into the, the entire, the two centers of learning in Silicon Valley both UC Berkeley and Stanford. And um, it was a result of that that companies really got a, a, a great start off um, uh, about three decades ago, now four decades ago. Um, I think it's appropriate for companies to look for government funding or regional funding too because there's often those kinds of um, opportunities available and there's no reason not to take advantage of that as well. Um, Friends and family always will have to come first, but uh, as, as you're just starting up, but after that, um, it, it, it varies based on, on, on um, you know, what, what your needs are, how much money you do need to, to continue. Uh, take yourself to the next stop, uh, the next stage of, of your development. And, um, and so it, it's, it, it's, uh, it's difficult to, to provide a, an easy to follow formula. It, uh, a lot of it is uh, just a lot of hard work. And by the way, uh, raising funds is a full-time endeavor. Um, it takes a lot of effort and is, is always harder than anyone thinks it will be. Well, and the speech will be about uh, sort of the progress of uh, the, the basis uh, on which Silicon Valley started and the progress of the uh, uh, gaming industry, the early game companies that were in the gaming industry, and how they sort of reached some success. I think that um, uh, something that is, is, is of value to, to, to reflect on is what, what, what do you really want to do with your life um, and, and can you uh, reasonably expect to, to achieve it you know, by doing a startup? Not, not everyone um, is, is made for a startup. Um, it's always harder than you think it's going to be and you have to believe in yourself on a very basic level. Uh, believe in your own ideas and your own capabilities uh, in order to succeed and I would say that um, one of the best ways to uh, help ensure that is that you surround yourself with people that are smarter than you are. Um, find the best talent and the smartest people you can because uh, a great idea can, um, uh, 
can end up not surviving with an with a ordinary, um, sort of a mediocre team behind it. But uh, a super team can make a mediocre idea turn into a fantastic winning a company. So the best people you can find uh, to, to work with will, will probably be the most beneficial to you in the long run.